Hey everyone, many of you have asked us what executive coaching is all about and how Brannigan's can help solve some of those problems where there is maybe mediocre leadership in organisations or people just want to be more high performing in their roles. So today we've got some of our newer Brannigan's executive coaches on board to answer some of your questions. As we start to move through COVID, what do you think are those three top areas that our business execs need to be focused on? James, take it away. Well, Sal, from my point of view and with the people I work with, not just in New Zealand, but all around the world, I would say that the biggest area to focus on is the, the leader's mindset. And certainly I think in terms of growth and innovation, the biggest challenge is actually uh, the leader's mindset. And so the chokehold on any business is really uh, looking at how the leader's thinking, are they thinking exponentially? or not. So I think that the biggest focus coming out of COVID is really think about what's happening from the, the leadership perspective and within the leadership team. Makes sense, totally. Mm. Sarah, what do you think about this? I think it's a really pertinent point that you touched on, that we are exiting out of COVID and that leadership um, in an exiting phase is super important to understand that leadership at the moment will be unsettled, you know, and so when our leaders are unsettled, the followers will be unsettled too. So I think to stop and take a breath and to see the human condition of our leaders, how are they, and to help and support them as they lead in this exit pace, place so they can uh, take their teams with them is really critical. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a pretty exhausting time for a lot of leaders, hasn't it? So yeah, absolutely looking after you know, yourself and getting some support is, is super important. Yeah, Leanne, love to hear your thoughts on that. And look, in a similar vein, um, the thing that I think that leaders are going to have to focus on is building courage. Mm. And I don't want leaders to think that we're just coming back to what we left in 2019. The opportunity is too grand. The world has changed too much. And what an amazing time for leaders to be able to go, where are we now? Where do we want to go in the future? But it takes courage. And so um, I'm really excited about what leaders might be able to do, uh, attempt, try, push, um, uh, to get different results going into a new world and a new way of working. Mm, yeah, the bravery piece is, <clears throat> is really important, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, failing things fast, trying new things, absolutely. A huge thanks to our executive coaches this afternoon. You guys have shared some amazing insights, so thank you so much. The reality is that the stats don't lie, and you can certainly expect around seven times return on investment for any executive coaching that you receive. So it's a pretty compelling argument. If you want to move your business forward, you need to get coaching. So please give us a call at Brannigan's or drop us a message and we can share some more information with you.